Andy. Three, two, one, action. Burning out his fuse up here alone. Thank you. 
Yeah. France is like that too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. same as Spain. Civilized people have it. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, let's try one more rehearsal. All right, we're going to get another rehearsal. Sure, this is what we're going on. So, yeah, so, yeah. So, a bit of, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no problem. So, to me, it's the calm before the storm. Right? Foot, hand, up. Foot, hand. Boom, 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 boom. Foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot. Slow down. Foot, hand, foot. Things are very desperate. They are now battling for survival. Both the humans and the apes, and there's no there's no win for anyone. It's just brutal, and um, the virus has completely you know has ravaged the, the the globe, and there are pockets of survivors. The apes are being you know they believe themselves to be the only group of surviving apes, and Caesar is seeing them being slaughtered. One of the great journeys for me on on, on across the three films actually has been Caesar's articulacy and the linguistic articulation and also his ability to to think and how that has uh, you know t in terms of processing emotional intelligence but also but also his intellect and how that's changed over the three movies here was this amazing story of uh, an outsider who was who was you know brought up with human beings and you know grew up with love and then at a certain age in his teenage years was rejected and then thrown into another situation a kind of a facility and 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 and, and the, the pages were going by and I was thinking this this incredible story of a, of of a, of a boy becoming a, a, a revolutionary and then leading his kind to freedom and and it was like and by the way it's an ape. And Woody and I had the most amazing journey on this, and we we became very close friends as a result because because of the C, C, the Caesar Colonel relationship. Um, we you know he was he was very 
willing to 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 take it as far as he could and and we completely connected and he's all about discovering the scenes and 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 properly re rehearsing with the apes as actors in, in and and finding the beats and and rehearsing scenes with 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 a crew standing around ready to shoot he will always wait until the moment is right and that the scene is has been rehearsed properly and that we, everyone everybody understands what that scene is about Terry is you know he's a, he's an, he's world class and and a unique human being and really this 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 franchise, these three films particularly, would not be anything without his involvement because he's not only playing a character in it, but he's also keeping an eye on every single other ape performer in this and coaching them. I mean, I've always said a, 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 about acting using performance capture technology is there is no, in a way, there's no mystery to it. There is no mystery to it. You, one has to play the character as if you were researching or, or getting under the skin of any live-action character. I mean, obviously, if you're playing something like an ape, there's a certain amount of physical work that you need to do, but it's only the same as, you know, if you're in a musical, you learn the choreography and you learn dance steps and you learn how to, how to sing the songs. So there's a technical approach, but it's all bound up with character. You know, in, in this latest version, the, the eyes are extraordinary and and the, the way that they have the what the way that light refracts in in, in the eyes the, the way that the tears and the meniscus is, is 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 created it's there you know it's all cg and it looks so brilliantly real um and it's truthful and it it captures the truthful emotions of, of what the actor's doing to be able to literally flip you know, flip the world on its head and see and see human nature within another kind really does allow us to put 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 our condition under under a microscope in a very interesting way. This movie is is all about you know otherness. It's about fundamentalism. It's about what you do to save your own tribe above anybody else's. You know, these are all questions that we're facing. It couldn't be more of a perfect. Um, metaphor for our times. I think I really do believe this movie is a film for our ages. Well, yeah, I mean, you could easily look at the Colonel as uh, a bad guy, but uh, I kind of look at him as a guy who who feels called upon to do something great and important uh, in this uncertain world. I think Andy is one of the most gifted actors I've ever run into. Uh, the most expressive eyes. It, it blows my mind to see how much he can convey with saying nothing. I've never, I've never encountered uh, in the, that kind of extremity of just ability to convey things through his eyes. You know, my hat's off to him because I I love his his pursuit of excellence. I think that, you know, uh, he's got a great vision and he's going to bring it to the screen and it's going to be awesome. As soon as I, I saw the first one with James Franco, and I mean, at the end of it, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I cannot wait to see the next one, <laughs> right? Next one came out. As soon as it came out, I saw it and I was like, it may be even better than the first one. You know, usually uh, the sequel's, you know, not as good, but this, I thought, Jesus, it's incredible. And I thought it was maybe better than the first one. And then I was like, I can't wait to see the next one. Not, not realizing I'd be in it, you know. <laughs>